Hello, it's Metacosis Perfect Schnellus. Welcome back to my chemistry quick review playlist. In this video, we'll talk about the types of chemical reactions. We have single replacement or single displacement reaction, double displacement or double replacement reaction, combination reaction, decomposition reaction. Oh, by the way, decomposition is the opposite of combination. Combination is combining two elements to make a compound. Conversely, decomposition is breaking down a compound into two elements. Combustion is burning in the presence of oxygen. What are we burning? Hydrocarbons. So we have carbon and we have hydrogens. Hydrocarbons. Could be C2H6, C2H4, C2H2, whatever. And then when you burn the hydrocarbon in the presence of oxygen, what do you get? Lots of energy, including heat, hydrogen, and carbon dioxide. In my car, there is an air filter to combine oxygen with the fuel, hydrocarbons. This releases carbon dioxide and there is water coming out of my exhaust system. I shouldn't have put it this way. Please watch the videos in this chemistry quick review playlist in order. What is oxidation reduction reactions? We talked about this in my biochemistry playlist. Oxidation in chemistry could mean one of three things. Gain of oxygen, oxidation, or loss of hydrogen, or loss of negative electron. Oh, when you lose the negative, you become oxidized. What's the opposite of oxidation? Reduction. Loss of oxygen, gain of hydrogen, or gain of a negative electron. Oxidation reduction reactions are also known as redox reaction. Reduction oxidation reactions. Do you see what I see? Do you see the types of chemical reactions? They can be nested under redox reactions or non-reduction oxidation reactions. And then we have combustion reactions and others. Reduction oxidation reactions include single replacement or single displacement reactions, combination or synthesis, and its opposite, decomposition. Amazing. How about the non-redox reactions? They include combination as well, decomposition, and double replacement or double displacement. Meaning combination reactions and decomposition reactions could be either redox or non-redox, depending on the circumstances. And after you do all of this, we add combustion reactions and others. Let's start by single replacement or single displacement. It could be written this way or this way. For example, A plus BC, these are the reactants, yield AC and B, these are the products. See what happened here? We kicked B to the curb. B has left the chat, and then A cometh and combineth with C. So we have AC and B, which was kicked to the curb. B was replaced. And since B is written before C, B is the positive ion and C is the negative ion. The positive ion has left the chat. Or single replacement could include a negative ion that left the chat. Between B and C, the first written is always the positive and the second is always the negative. Let's kick C to the curb. C is going to leave the chat and A will combine with B. So whether you write it this way or this way, in either case, you are writing a single replacement or single displacement reaction. Sometimes the positive ion is being replaced and sometimes the negative ion is being replaced. Hey, Metacosis, why did you write it BA instead of AB? Because B here is the positive. I try to start with the positive followed by the negative. How about double replacement or double displacement? AB plus CD yields AD plus CB. But why didn't you write the B before the C? For the same reason. C was written first, which means C is the positive ion. So I write C first. B was written later, which means it's the negative ion. So I put it after C. Always start with the positive followed by the negative. Next, the two opposites, combination or synthesis versus decomposition or breakdown. Synthesis of what? Of AB. From what? From A plus B. Breakdown is the opposite. We decompose AB into A plus B. Combustion is burning of hydrocarbons in the presence of oxygen to give me energy, including heat, and water and carbon dioxide. Do we have other reactions? Absolutely, there is digestion reactions, fermentation reactions, photosynthesis reactions, etc. Fermentation, if you remember from my biochemistry playlist, is fermentation of sugar, glucose, into 
alcohol and carbon dioxide. Let's bake some bread. Why is the bread rising in the oven? Because of carbon dioxide. This also releases alcohol. Does that mean that I will get tipsy after eating bread? No, because alcohol will evaporate. It will not stay in your bread. And even if it stays in the bread, it's the dose that makes the poison. The amount of alcohol in your bread is so tiny. It is so infinitesimally small. Just learned this word the other day. Look, 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 look at photosynthesis. It's the opposite of fermentation. Oh, instead of breaking down glucose, we are building, we are making glucose from carbon dioxide and water. Thanks to the chlorophyll of plants. Does anyone remember Rabisco? And what do we release as a byproduct? Oxygen, so that we can breathe. That's why we say that without photosynthesis, there is no life on Earth. Let's answer the question of the previous video. If a photon has a wavelength of 5 times 10 raised to the second power nanometers, calculate the energy of that stinking photon in joules. Please pause, get a pen and paper, and try to solve this yourself. Are you ready? Let's do it. We will use two light equations to solve this problem. We'll use speed equals frequency times wavelength, and we'll use energy equals wavelength times Planck's constant. So let's give it a whirl. C equals mu times lambda. What do I have here? I have the lambda. Do I have the mu? I do not have the mu. Do I have the C? Oh, it's the speed of light. It does not change. So let's solve for mu. The frequency of the wave equals c over lambda. I know the speed of light. It's about 3 times 10 raised to the 8th power meters per second. And I have the wavelength, but it's in nanometers. Oh, I need to convert this number into meters. So, 5 times 10 raised to the second power nanometers multiplied by my conversion factor. I know that 1 meter contains 10 raised to the 9th power nanometers. Nanometer will cancel with the nanometer, and the rest is math history. This will give me 5, and then 10 raised to the second power over 10 raised to the ninth power equals 10 is my base, and then what's the exponent? 2 minus 9 equals negative 7 meters. That's the wavelength. So now mu equals the speed of light 3 times 10 to the 8th power, meters per second we can put the second here and then over wavelength 5 times 10 to the negative 7th power meters meter will cancel with meter the second will go downstairs and my answer will be 3 over 5 which is 4 over 10 which is 0 0.4 times 10 as my base 8 minus negative 7 is 8 plus 7 which is 15 is this a proper scientific notation? Absolutely not. This number has to be between 1 and 10, which means I have to make it a 4. If you shift the decimal point forwards, you gotta decrease the exponent by 1. So this will give me 4.0 times 10 to the 14th power. What? Second. When it goes downstairs, it is second raised to the negative first power. All of that nonsense was mu, but do they want mu? No, they want the energy of the photon. Enters the other equation. Energy equals mu, which is the wavelength, multiplied by Planck's constant. What's my mu? I just got it. It's 4.0 times 10 to the 14th power, second power negative 1, multiplied by Planck's constant, which never changes. It is 6.626 multiplied by 10 to the negative 34th power joules multiplied by seconds. And then what? This second downstairs will cancel this second downstairs, and the rest is math history. This will give me 26.5 multiplied by 10 raised to the negative 20th power. How did I get here? 4 times 6.626 equals 26.5. 10 is my base, add the exponents because I'm multiplying, 14 plus minus 34 equals 14 minus 34 equals negative 20. Is this a proper scientific notation? No, because this value should be between 1 and 10. This is way higher than 10, which means I gotta shift the decimal point backwards once. 
and when I shift the decimal point backwards, I got to increase this by 1. So how do I do it? 2.65 times 10 to the what? I want to increase it by 1. So it becometh negative 19. What? Joules. And they wanted the energy in joules. So this is my final answer. And here is the same answer in colors. More questions. What's the type of the following reaction? Please pause. What do you think? Well, I'm adding A plus B to give me AB. So this is a classic combination or synthesis reaction. If you didn't get this right, there is no hope for you. I mean, uh, try, try, and try again. Look at this. A plus B equals AB. Combination or synthesis. Coming up next, what's the type of the following reaction? Please pause. Here I have AB and I'm breaking down AB into A plus B, which makes decomposition the correct answer. There you go. Pause and review. If you did not answer this one correctly, try, try, and then give up. Don't be a damn fool about it. Just joking. Another question. What's the type of the following reaction? Please pause. Look what happened here. I had HCl. Cl left the H and went with the Na. Okie dokie. So Cl went with the Na. And then what? And then the H went with the OH to make water. Ooh, this is acid and base equals salt and water. A classic double displacement or double replacement reaction. There you go. AB plus CD yields AD plus CB. Here's another one. What's the type of the following reaction? Element plus compound yields new element plus new compound. Who's that? Please pause. And the answer to this one is good old single replacement. Element plus compound yields new compound and new element. Be careful. For this single replacement or single displacement reaction to take place, the element, this doofus right here, must be higher on the activity series. What the flip is the activity series? It's like a table trying to organize atoms by their reactivity. For example, if you look upstairs in the activity series, on top we have more reactive stuff. At the bottom we have less reactive. Mnemonic, less reactive is lower in position. Or you just say high is high and low is low. And according to the activity series, fluorine is more reactive than chlorine, and chlorine is more reactive than bromine, and bromine is more reactive than iodine. Which means fluorine can replace iodine in a single replacement or single displacement reaction. Question of the day. Can sodium Na plus and potassium K plus combine together to form a compound? Yes or no? And if you answer yes, can you tell me what's the name of the compound? You can download all of these handwritten doozy chemistry notes in PDF format on my website medicosisperfectionalis.com. I also have biology notes and biochemistry notes and all kinds of notes. There are more than 1,500 free videos on this channel plus 300 premium videos if you click the join button and choose the highest tier. Smash like, subscribe, hit the bell, support my channel here or here, go to my website to download my notes, courses, cases, or if you'd like me to personally tutor you. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine and chemistry make perfect sense.